Hey everyone, in today's iMovie video, I wanna show you how to create trailers inside of iMovie. iMovie has built-in trailer packages, Hollywood-style trailer packages that include pre-built animations, logos, everything, music, to give you really great trailers right out of iMovie using your footage so you could drag and drop your footage into it. If you've never used iMovie before, I try to make this as simple as possible, but I do have another video walking you through how to use iMovie for beginners if you've never used it. And this video is part of my iMovie course, so if you wanted to learn all about iMovie as a beginner all the way to advanced, I put all of that into one course. I cover literally everything iMovie has to offer in that course and I'll put a link to that in the description below this video. Let's jump into the Mac here and create our movie trailer. To create a trailer inside of iMovie, with iMovie open, just go to the Projects tab here and we need to create a new project. Just press the plus sign and you have two options. Movies is just the way you would create any project inside of iMovie to make any edits, but trailers are specific to creating trailers with preset templates that iMovie gives you. So that's what you want to choose in this case. And if you only have one library set up in iMovie, it's just by default going to pick that. But if you have two or more, select one of those libraries and press OK. And with trailers, you have a lot of options here to choose from, just a little under 30 at the time that I'm recording this. And you could pick any one of these. And it's gonna make some suggestions for you. It's gonna show you the length of that video, that trailer. It's gonna show you cast members, meaning how many people you have in your footage. So if you only have one person, you could choose the ones that say one or any. Or if you're just doing a montage here, you could choose one of them that is going to fit with a montage sequence. Or if you're doing a sports event, maybe showing videos of your kids, you could go ahead and choose one of these. But any one of them, let me just turn on the volume here so I could talk through it. But you could press play. They come with music. They come with a logo intro and all these different placeholders for different shots and text. You could press any one of these to see what that's gonna look like and if it's gonna fit within your footage. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one here for sports and I'll press create on the bottom to create it. Now with trailers, your project looks completely different and the workflow is a lot different too. You don't have as much control, but it does a lot of the work for you to create something unique. So you'll start here in the outline window and you'll give your movie a name here. So you could click here to edit that. So I'll call this the watch, for example, your release date, whenever you want this to be. So I'll put it for 2021. Your studio name, you could change that here. Your logo style, if you look up here, you could actually change how that looks. So you could choose from other options as well. I'll leave it on the one that I had before. I'll choose this one actually. I think it's a better fit for this video. And then you could change directed by, you could change the name here. And all these titles that will show up in the credit at the end of your movie. Or you could just leave it as is here. I'll leave it as is. I'll go to storyboard next. Now after you finish your outline here, we need some footage to work with and I've already brought in my footage. But if you haven't used iMovie before and you're not sure where you get footage from, there's multiple different ways to bring in footage. Basically, you could bring it from your libraries on your computer. So the photo library, for example, gets access to all your photos and you could bring them that way. You could also bring it from your iMovie libraries. So for example, right here, my iMovie library has all this different footage inside of it. And the way I brought that in is by just pressing this down arrow right here to import video. And then you got access to my hard drives and my computer and even your cameras or even your iPhone if it's connected to your computer. And all you have to do is basically select all the footage that you want here. I could go ahead and hold down shift and select like all these clips, all these seven clips, and then import them into my project. So again, if you have them on your internal hard drive on your computer, get access to that from your desktop or from your home here or if you have it on an external hard drive like I just got here, I selected it from there. Or if you wanna connect a device like your iPhone or your iPad, you could grab it from here. They will appear over here on this side. That's how you would import the footage, which you will see over here. And this is the footage I'm going to use for my project. Now you could work with trailers in two ways, storyboard and shot list. Shot list is gonna organize the footage into the type of clips that it's looking for. So it's looking for action shots here, 11 of those, group shots, two of those, and so on. 
I like to use storyboards because it's just gonna go from the beginning to the end so you could actually edit your film in order of how it's gonna appear it's a lot easier for me to do it this way so as you could see tech films from my outline page showed up over here but I could click this and retitle any of my titles here as I go through if I go right here let me press play that's my title for the intro so I'll leave that be and then it's asking me to create a shot that's 1.3 seconds so if I select this I need to put a 1.3 second action shot here so I'll go here to one of my libraries in this case I want to use the Apple watch footage and I'll come up here and as you could see I don't have to put it in and out point and figure out what 1.3 seconds looks like it already does that for me so I could basically come over here and select it just like this and I'll click and it's going to take that footage and bring it down here for me and then it'll take me to the next clip where I could do the same thing so I'll go over here it wants another shot that's about the same I'll click it and so on so you will go through all your footage and add any clip that is asking you to add here on the bottom here so let me go through let me add a few more shots here and see what we get okay I filled out the first section here and now we're back at a different title right here so I'm going to click here to change this title now it's asking me to add an action shot that's 2.4 seconds so I'm gonna click this come up here and again I'm gonna scroll through to find a shot that is 2.4 seconds and then again it still has the in and out points and I'll select it and you get the idea here continue with changing your titles and filling out all these action sequences then I'll come and show you what it looks like now let me show you you could actually edit some of these so if I click one of these I filled out everything else I have some options I could press this little double arrow here to adjust the portion of the clip that I selected and it opens up this clip trimmer here and this was my selection but if I wanted to change that I could bring it to another section here and click right here and it will change my selection for me you could also remove a clip entirely let me close this clip trimmer and let's say I didn't need all these shots right here I could select one of them and I could remove it by pressing this and it will take it out here and I could add another one let me actually go to edit and undo that change but your decisions are not permanent you could also leave the clip sound on or off I recommend leaving it off because you want the music to take over for these type of trailers but if somebody was talking through one of these you could actually unmute it here by clicking that those are the options you have when it comes to using these clips here once you're done filling out your whole timeline here and all these clips are filled out and all your titles are done you could come to the top here and click right in the beginning and then go to your player window let me actually turn on the volume here of the music and press play and you could now listen and watch your entire trailer and all the shots edited to music much much faster doing it this way than manually trying to make all these edits inside of regular iMovie edit it's a great way to get started with iMovie and create really engaging videos and when you're all set you just press this up arrow right here and you could go ahead and export your video and share it anywhere you like like YouTube and Facebook I typically use the export file option and choose all these same settings that you see here and press next and save it to my computer here and then from my computer I could upload it to YouTube or any other place that I would want this to be on just by pressing next right here so in this case I'll choose my desktop I'll give it a title here press save and it'll export it for me in a few minutes and it's that simple to create a trailer from scratch inside of iMovie thanks so much for watching this video I hope you found it useful again please check the links in the description for more training and other videos on iMovie and I hope to catch you next time